I'm going to be starting an Appalachian Trail through hike attempt on February 20th from Springer Mountain going Nobo. And eventually I will do a full gear review of everything I'm going to be taking on the trail. But half my gear is in upstate New York where I'll be moving to at the end of the year before I start the hike. The rest of it's here with me in New York City. And my clothes are off at Insect Shield getting some insect repellent on them so hopefully I will not have to deal with too many ticks while on the trail. So I figure what I will do is a little video of the evolution of my cook systems. So when I started backpacking a few years ago I started off with the pocket rocket which is very popular a lot of people use that and it worked very well but always looking to try something a little bit lighter. I went with the BSR stove and I used that on my first week-long hike of the Appalachian Trail in Massachusetts in 2016. And while that worked really well as well, I saw a lot of people using alcohol stoves when I was out there, so I figured I'd give that a try. Now with these two stoves, I was using the uh, Snow Peak Titanium Mini Set, and it worked well, but the tall aspect of it made it difficult getting food out sometimes. So for alcohol stoves, I first started messing around with the Fancy Feast stove and the Trangia stove. And after a couple of overnighters in Harriman State Park, I realized these didn't really work that well for me. So I went ahead and ordered the Trail Designs Sidewinder system. Now the way that works is you have the alcohol stove and the windscreen. And the windscreen is made specifically to the pot. So I picked up the ever new 0.9 titanium pot because I wanted the wider pot to make cooking in and eating out of a little bit easier. So the way this works is light up the stove, throw the windscreen around it, and that just sits right in. So that is going to be my go-to when I start the trail. And I used this on my week long of doing the trail in New Jersey this past July, and I was very happy with it. So hopefully it will see it all the way to Katahdin with me. Now as far as drinks go, I was using the Sea to Subic Collapsible Cup, and this thing's great, took up very little space, but I don't know, I just didn't like the feel of it while I was drinking. So I am going with the the Snow Peak uh, Titanium Mug and it takes up a little more space in the pack but I found if I just put little odds and ends in there it really doesn't take up any more space than anything else. i just show you how nice and easily everything packs away into itself. So put that up, lid on, and it's good to go in the backpack. 